Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to see you. Can I just say first up, um, the, the character, many people are so happy to see him back. The running sequences, yeah. not really his style, are they? <laughs> because people know, you know, he, he carries quite a, a severe limp. Yeah, a limp, yeah. So he, he, he does ha as much as he can, you know. You know, it um, was, was necessary, was, uh, he had to do. Whatever, he, you know, he's like the black knight uh, uh, in the sacred grove, you know, like he, no legs, no... But he but carries he, on he, anyway. He still wants to, to fight. Yes. <laughs> did you enjoy it? I did a lot. I enjoyed uh, a lot the, the team. Uh, I was feeling really uh, proud to be uh, welcome, uh, uh, getting such a big hug from the British audience. Um, you know, my daughter was just born and I read uh, this uh, story of this missing uh, boy. It, I felt really uh, anxious about it and I didn't want to sign for six months and be hired uh, um, for, for, for three years, you know, so I felt really uh, stressed. But the, the, the eyes and of uh, Tom Shankland, who directed the first uh, eight episodes of the season one, was so strong and so much humanity. Uh, in the way he talked to me about the character and the, and the story itself and the way he wanted to shoot it. This was, you know, uh, uh, traveling inside. And after three months, I felt in my stomach that I'm doing a mistake. So I called and luckily, uh, destiny took me by the color. <laughs> so here we I'm are. here today. <laughs> but is there something about uh, the, the, the Baptiste character that it, it really draws people in? And I'm thinking, you know, you think about movies and crime dramas now with a lot of action. And, you know, it's very in your face. But he is so measured and so he listens so hard. Do you think that's one of the things that draws people into the character so much? Uh, yes, I think so. Also, he, there is a lot of wisdom. He's not afraid to think and uh, tell, you know, uh, lines like, uh, you know, I've been looking for uh, uh, missing people uh, all my life, uh, maybe to look for uh, their soul is a stretch too far, suddenly this line comes out, you know, and uh, um, so uh, he's, he reads, he, he, he thinks, uh, he's reliable, um, he's sexy. Well, now, here's the thing, there is no escaping the fact that the French accent Gives has, an, it has an effect, doesn't yeah. it? You must it, be aware of that. I, I am. But uh, I didn't think about it, I have to say. But as much as when you English people come to France, we have a... a no, you don't. A, a, it's not... Yes. No, you don't. Definitely. Look, you Jen don't. Birkin you cannot think. Do you honestly all, think the British accent... the guys were in accent. love with her, you know. You honestly think the British accent is sexy when we go over to France? Yes, yes, it has. It has, definitely. Every, every time, you know, me, myself, maybe for some others, but myself, when I hear people with a different way to speak French, I'm attracted. There is something, uh, like, for instance, I love the Montreal Canadian accent that people hate. I love it, you know. And uh, I really love when people speak other languages. It's really interesting. It's, uh, I'm a melting pot m myself, so I grew up in uh, different languages. So that's why I'm sort of uh, attracted, and I think it's glamorous. Yeah, you know? Baptiste, can you do an English accent? Baptiste can do an English can, accent. Can you? Sorry, Checky. sorry, no, Checky. I'm getting so Checky, confused you now. Are. <laughs> Checky, Checky, can you Checky, do Checky, can you do, as an actor, can you do an English accent? Have you always worked with the French accent? Always worked with the French accent. I never, you know, I've worked a lot in America. Uh, people kept saying, why don't you try the American accent, you know? I said, I will never be American, why should I, you know? It's not, you know, I'm French. I can play different characters, but uh, I will always be a, a French, you know, with different persona, different story, different destiny, but uh, I'll be French. Tell me a little bit more about uh, Jean-Baptiste in, in this episode, in this series now. It's based in Amsterdam. It very much looks into the very seedy underworld of trafficking, uh, the sexual in uh, um, sex industry as yes. well. How gritty does it get? Um, well, uh, he, he's involved uh, in that story because an ex-girlfriend who's a, a chief uh, police uh, in Amsterdam knows he's there because uh, uh, after the surgery he just wants to feel good taking care of the grandchild with the, the, the family and his wife, uh, uh, Anastasia Ile, who plays Celia. So he's called into that case and uh, he thinks it will be fine. It's a missing person and quickly... Uh, 
he thinks it's going to be uh, easy, so he helps, even though he, he doesn't want really. And eventually, it becomes more complicated. He has to, uh, to um, uh, inquire about the soul of some people. There is this character played by Tom Hollander, who seems uh, really confused. He doesn't know exactly where what's happening with the guy. Nothing is very clear. Well, I've seen the first episode, and I'm hooked. Very atmospheric, yeah. very, yeah. very good. And you know you've arrived, don't you, as a, as a detective actor when the series is named after, after you. The, you know, you think Kojak, you know, Columbo. Bergerac. Bergerac. <laughs> you know you've arrived when your name is on the, on the product. The, the character's name. Uh, the character's is, name. Yes, it's, it's great, it's great. But, you know, I, I'm, I wish I will do other things and that I won't be stuck in, in it, but uh, I'll be happy to go for it if... Uh, uh, it, things. Uh, I mean, the brothers uh, always keep saying there is a lot of skeleton I in the closet, so they will maybe address some of them more. But I, I, I hope I can be on stage in London and play a French guy in a production. So uh, if somebody oh, if someone's to... watching, oh, yes. there's your pitch. Yeah. Good yeah. pitch. Yeah. Good yeah. pitch. Check it out. Be with my band. On stage, yes, you, you sing know. as well, don't yeah. you? Oh yeah, oh check it out. Lovely, lovely, to see you here this lovely talking yeah. to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you very much, much for. Uh, and hi, uh, everybody. Lots of love. It's uh, Valentine's Day today. Oh, you uh, celebrate, do you? You can just, yeah. Baptiste, you know, you can just keep talking for a while. People love it. <laughs> They'll love it. it. Everyone's love just it. like, oh, yeah, Feel Baptiste. The lo I'm, fe I'm feeling the love. I'm definitely feeling the love. <laughs> Baptiste is on BBC One on Sunday at 9pm. You can also catch up on the iPlayer. It's, it's worth it. Do you know what? It's, it's one of those signs, how close you are to the character, I think, that I've kept making the mistake of calling you by the name of the character you play. But that's a, that's, I think that's sort of a tribute. That's my excuse. It is. It is. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much.